Aloy. Back for more, huh? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Oh, I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olven? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olven has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the worker since the day he rolled into town. About that, I think the bristlebacks came out of Olven's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge, grab my ear if you nail it down. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a Stormbird Heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Who is this Tolan Cleanbroker? Just some chuff-huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in Chain Scrape since there was a Chain Scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolan works for Alvin? <laughs> Olven might think so, but Talon scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Talon making it rougher. Petra said Tolland has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first.
was you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed him myself with a harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. That clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Cars of Filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shops close to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Away with you. Got no time for Karja sympathizers. <laughs> You look like... You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Oderg. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight? You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the enduring master of the West? Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Like the attacks are fast but easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. Down. Heavy attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage. But they're slow, so your opponents might counterattack. Yeah. Yeah. Power 
attack smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable, so pick your moment. Energize after attacks. I think landing every attack is a combination of energizer. Now to use that energy. Try attacking your enemy. You did it! attacks are child's play. A real fighter combines them. Practice this combination as a starter. opponent, break their weapon block, then follow through to attack with this combination. If you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks in combination. Close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. You think your spirit can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spirit. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast them. That energy doesn't last forever. That spirit can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Series of attacks. Tell me I'm not seeing <laughs> Good. Is that the same? Yield. I yield. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here. Have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodurk. Don't be a stranger now. 
Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. See you later, Odurg. Farewell, then. Master can't be too happy that whistle blow that Feel it. I've heard of your advent. My armor can help. Her. Killed the bristlebacks. Don't you? Should be taller. Too. Boss has a hangover, so I got time. I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? 
Actually, I... Ugh. But you're just nuts! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba boom One-shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe, Javelin Thrower. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident, another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective. Yes, basic, undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. A boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to meet the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Almost ready to go? Gotta keep going, sorry. How's the hunting and gathering going, Red? Getting there. What can I do for you? I'll be on my way. Don't be a stranger. Could get around faster if I find a charger to override. Stash this away for later. <laughs> Boomer said that Fanghorn should be nearby. Where's the fang horn? Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. Yeah. 
Got a ghost. Should be able to harness the twin now. Got everything I need for Della and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. Be welcome, Outlander. Look at her go! I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Uh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom! Sister! Over here! Bit busy now, but what we'll talk soon. Caster? But ropes don't explode. You might have beaten me, but you're still welcome to keep training. What do you say? I should go. I'll be here if you want to practice more.
Dyer can make use of this. Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for Chain Scrape. More machines on their way. Get to safety! I'll handle the rest! Go, Lakasha! I'll help no. Nora. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Yes, the show is over. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. 
He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were... difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. Your priest, Savohar, you said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation... This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I... I don't... Let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. We will guard the path until you return. Looks like I should head up. I should climb that.
Part of the ladder. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savalhar climbed up here. I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. Pry this green shine off carefully. bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. That's a lot of blood. Savohars? He must have hurt himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. Looks like he left a trail. I can follow with my focus. There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. Machines. Savahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them. Or take them out. Machines weak to fire. Machine. But I could learn if there's a cauldron out here.
That's all of them. There's some are. Pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun. Me. You must be Sabahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> oh. No. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. A fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is at hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Listen, Makasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks. Angry Osaram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of eventide will 
burn away their fear. I don't think so. Look, I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sign above me. The true sign before me. Show me the way, Miss Eventide. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sign above me. Gotta get over to that stormbird. Grab its heart. 